Let's start by making a new compost ion by clicking here. These are the composition settings that I generally use if you want to use yours or just copy mine for best results. You can change the duration, for example how long your video length will be. We can change this later but for now I will set it to 25 seconds and I will press OK. Double click on this area to import your scene pack and audio. I have just imported the video I wanted to use and audio too. Drag and drop the audio on timeline. I will disable the preview, it means the video will not be shown of the audio I am using, it helps speeding up preview. Then mark beats, I already have a tutorial on how to mark beats. If you want to learn you can check after this tutorial. After I done marking, I will make the composition small. Because composition is more than the audio I used. I will go to last frame and press and it will set an end point. It means video will play till this point. Right click then press on trim comp to work area. Now let's import our main video. If it's a movie you can use this trick. Double click on video and then go to the part you want to add in your clip. Once you find click on this button and when you import your video. It will start from where you set the button. We have our video now. Make sure you set the preview on quarter for fast rendering while watching and editing. It may have some bad quality, but when you export it, it will show in good quality. Here are some tools you need to know about. This is selection tool and we will mostly use this tool. This is hand tool. You can move the preview window with this while masking or if you want to see a part clearly. This is pen tool which we use for masking. This is text tool which you can use to add your name or add words on your edits. As you learn about some important tool let's start editing our video. I will find the part where I want it to transition happens. Right here. You can use Ctrl plus Shift plus D to trim the layer. Now I will move the layer to the marker. As I have no extra clip in starting, I will crop some extra part in starting. Disable the audio on video layer, so the character or background music doesn't mix with audio. I will now scrub through the video and see which parts one need and which I don't. You can zoom in and out with this in timeline. As my video was 4K and composition was 1080p so my video is zoomed in. To zoom out all videos at once, select all videos and press S on your keyboard and change the number. Now let's find the best part and trim them according to the beats. You can select a layer and press the delete button on your keyboard to delete the extra layer. Let me speed the part to save some time, but this is exactly same steps just find good steps and trim using Ctrl plus Shift plus D. Let's see how the video turned out. Some parts look weird but we can fix them using Twixter. Right click on video and pre-compose the layer. You must follow these settings. Many people have a question that why we pre-comp layers. The answer is when we crop the layer it's still a part of video from which we crop it so it used the frames from deleted parts, but when we pre-compose it becomes a separate layer with its own properties. And even we can go inside the pre-composed layer and replace the video without affecting the effect on the pre -composition. If this look kinda hard to learn then just don't worry, you will learn with time, everyone does. Now pre-compose all layers one by one. Now I will add the Twixter, I also have a tutorial on smooth Twixter. You definitely should watch that to understand how Twixter works, but for the sake of tutorial I will show you real quick, now just follow me. By the way, this section is called effects control, all your presets and plugins will be available in this section, just search drag and drop.
This stopwatch icon is for keyframes. I guess you already know how keyframes work so I won't explain this step. I will use my Twixter settings the same I showed in tutorial. You can see keyframes by pressing you on your keyboard. I will select all keyframes and I will press F9 to make the graph smoother. Now rather than copying keyframes you always copy the Twixter. You can click on name and press Ctrl plus C to copy. Now go your next video and select the video and press Ctrl plus V to paste the keyframes. Do it with all layers. Now select all layers and pre-compose everything. I will make new adjustment layer to add my coloring on it. You can check my pay hip for my color correction, or I have just shared some free coloring preset in the giveaway, you can check them out too. As you can see we got some harsh line on edges. To remove these lines just select the video and scale it little. We created some mess on our project window, let us clean this too. Make a new folder. And name it accordingly. Select all the layers and put it in the folder you just created. You can make as many folders as you can. Now I will make new adjustment layer to add directional blur. For this you don't need any plugin, you can get this for free in After Effects. Now just follow me. I will follow the keyframes and paste them on all beats. There are some black parts on directional blur, but we can fix them by using motion tile on video. Follow these settings. I will pre-compose everything again. Here you can change how your video looks. I will change the width and height, so it will be a TikTok video. You can keep it as it is or scale it a little. Or just select the layer and press R to rotate it 90 degree. As you can see, character is not visible in some scenes to fix this go in pre -compostion. And now to, to adjust the character in center by pressing P. I forgot to add watermark and just select text tool and type your name. Adjust it accordingly. This is anchor point tool you can change the position of anchor point using this. Now change the opacity by pressing T. Fade in and out just press T and then set keyframes like I am doing. You can add panning to your video, it will add some live movement in your edit. I have shared some free panning in my giveaway you can download for free.
precompose everything. Export them via After Effects or Media Encoder. Sorry, I can't share the export settings now, but I will make a different tutorial on some good export settings for TikTok and Instagram edits. And that is it. I am sorry if I missed some things, or if the tutorial was too long, but I tried to make this as easy and informative for those who just started AE or having some trouble. If you have any suggestion or you want to share the feedback please join my discord or just comment them down. I read each and every comment. Thank you so much for watching.